Here's a simplified failure scenario. Uh, in the two days, June 11th and 12th, this particular 787 ingested suspended dust particles on departure and arrival near Delhi as there were severe dust storms uh, happening at that time. Dust enters the compressor and turbine sections of the engines, but doesn't immediately uh, damage parts. There are no immediate problems the day before or even on the day itself. But over a few cycles on 11th and 12th uh, takeoff and landing cycles, um, the material accumulates inside the engines. And then on June 12th, during takeoff from Ahmedabad, the engines hit maximum thrust. And at that moment, heat and vibration dislodges material, you know, dust material, which led to dual engine failure. Many observers and many of you would have watched the video. I'm referring to the CCTV video at the airport where just at takeoff, you see dust. And um, some observers have um, noticed the dust and have attributed that to perhaps the plane being at the very end of the runway. And so we're seeing the dust from the end of the runway. And, and uh, as always, please watch this video merely as a commentary from someone who's not even a pilot, um, as we all await anxiously for the preliminary report for the actual reason for this crash. The final answers will require analysis of uh, all the black boxes and the engines, and this will probably take years. So this is just a theory. This engine failure due to long-term Dust exposure theory attempts to connect the recent severe Delhi dust storms to this crash. In other words, um, could there have been sufficient dust ingestion by the engines in the previous flights of this particular 787 Dreamliner Boeing 787, which led to engine failure that fateful day on June 12th? Although engines are designed to deal with small amounts of dust, if it's a lot of dust or happens over a long period, um, uh, unexpected problems can arise. At takeoff, engines reach maximum internal temperature of over 1,400 degrees centigrade. So hardened deposits may soften or melt quite suddenly, blocking cooling air holes, breaking off in chunks and damaging turbine blades or nozzle guide vanes. Actually, the, the thing that made me think about dust was the fateful flight between Singapore and Perth. I'm, I'm recording this in Perth, but that was due to volcanic ash. And you can, re you can, you can look this up on, on YouTube. There are many uh, videos on this particular incident in which the engines, it caused engines to fail mid-flight, but fortunately they were able to restart the engines. Anyway, the final stage, stage six, is a failure cascade where uh, deposits uh, detach and cause lo loss of blade tip, blade tip clearance as it's spinning, and it disrupts airflow paths, and there's imbalance of the rotor strata pairs, and the engine can seize or enter an uncontained failure mode. So it sort of goes into, uh, uh, yeah, where things just become unstable and it just gets magnified and happens quite quickly. Um, and this risk is magnified actually in two engine aircraft apparently, where one failure at takeoff may put stress on the second engine. Dust was seen at takeoff, and so I think it is possible that um, um, uh, dust cause uh, was one one of the factors. So just two days before the crash, there had been uh, bad dust storms at Delhi Airport, Delhi India in general, in the whole area. Uh, and June tenth to twelfth, two zero two five, Delhi NCR experienced pre-monsoon dust storms driven by intense heat and strong winds. Uh, typical of Lu winds peaking in spring and early summer. And this preconditioned the air for dust to uplift. And the dust storm onset was the evening of June 12th. Evening of June 12th. Now, the crash um, occurred on June 12th itself, but uh, it's possible that the you know prior to this, there was already um, quite a bit of dust activity uh, on 11th and 12th. Um, now, another thing is that most people think that June 12th 
the 787, the day of the crash, uh, the aircraft crash on uh, Ahmedabad, and that was the only flight uh, that it made that day. But don't realize that it had just flown in from Delhi that very same day. And also on the day before, uh, where it had returned from Paris to Delhi. And on that, in fact, the day before, it had flown from Delhi to Paris and then back from Paris to Delhi. So in essence, um, that's the reason why I believe uh, dust accumulation as a possible cause for dual engine failure for the fateful crash of Air India 171. Thank you for watching. Um, please click and subscribe uh, for any um, follow-ups and uh, please do leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.